to introduce to you the third panelist with actually she has already been introduced to everyone uh, Miss Claudia Moniche and she's going to tell us about a British Council and Mededuc program a program called after school program thank you Yerko, uh, sorry <laughs> thank you Javier but I'm going to I'm going to go double today okay first the ETNs and then the after school workshop Okay, shall we start with the first one? Yes, yes, because there are, there are all my, my colleagues and members of the network are here. So, well, uh, now is my time because I was talking about Cecilia's um, point of view, but this is my, my point of view, okay? So I'm a teacher of English, I'm an EFL teacher, I'm an, I'm an ESP teacher, I work in two educational um, centers for now, <laughs> okay? And well, I, this is something that uh, we should uh, reflect on, how teachers network in times of COVID-19, right? Let's go to the... Well, this is me. I, I studied in, at Universidad de La Serena. Uh, yes, there I am receiving our di diplomas. We received the state teacher diploma and the bachelor <laughs> diploma, as many of you. Yeah, that, those, those pictures are, I uh, think, uh, from the third year. There you are. We used to to, to plan with uh, big sheets. I don't know if Miss Ana Maria remembers, <laughs> but they were big sheets of paper and we used to plan there. Now you use the computer, but at those times we have to use paper and pencil, paper and pen. Okay, I, I know that most of you remember Elvi, Sandra, <laughs> probably there you are. You can see Cecilia there, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are the two places where I, wait, 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 wait. You are in a hurry, you are, yes. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you the two places where I teach. That's Juan Boon, maybe you don't know where it is, but it's in Balmaceda Street. And they want, the other one is Colegio Trinity, it's in Milagro. Yeah, I, I've been working in Colegio Trinity for 30 years, the same years I have been a teacher. So imagine how old I am. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, well, I'm going to talk about the English networks. Yeah, there are 201 networks in our, in our, in our region, but 2,313 teachers in the whole country. And we have 20 English teacher <laughs> networks, okay, here in, in, in the region. And all of them are uh, supported and um, orga organized by the English Open Doors program and our star, Eddie, Miss Maria Cecilia Santander. You know that English uh, networks in, uh, have been supported by this program, but they have a special goal to ensure the integration of all teachers looking for continuing professional development. And at the same time, promoting the inclusion of all members, teachers and students inside and outside the classroom. So in order to make uh, students enhance their language skills, all teachers belonging to the network promote engaging activities which motivate them to improve their teaching learning process of English as a foreign language and also increase their relationship with others in a healthy environment. So, it is for important to say here that uh, I don't know, most of my colleagues will support me that all this work is done voluntarily. There's no extra pay in terms of money, but we receive training and support during the whole year. So I'm going to talk about a little bit MasterNet. Can you show the next slide? Yes, the next one. 
Yeah, Masternet is the name of our network. And we are uh, 12 schools and 15 teachers working this year, only this year. We have had other schools and other teachers working the, the past years. But as a network, we have been together since uh, 2004. So we have been one of, we are one of the oldest networks in, in, the, in the region. We have been awarded with funds from the Ministry of Education, and we have organized and implemented different events throughout our history. The next slide. Okay, there you are some pictures. We have a Facebook uh, page if you want to look for us. I know that San Sarita, who is here, is also trying to prepare an Instagram webpage and um, you can look for it in, in Facebook. Well, we are the, from the generation X, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, but we also have millennials in our group, okay? So what we have done throughout our history is that we have applied and we have been awarded with funds, with money, lots of money, Me, 1 million pesos, 800,000 pesos, to implement uh, events like song festivals. We have had talent shows. We have had uh, movie theater shows, uh, show and tell, uh, public speaking, music halls, classic drama shows. And we all of these uh, uh, activities or actions are done during a special week. Uh, this week is called the English week, but not only Masternet, but um, all the networks. Uh, like the Coquimbo network or in uh, Paiwano or, or Vicuña or Valle is all the networks have applied to this um, to this uh, it, projects but we have had the, the um, like the luck of winning the projects since 2007 to 2019 so we have been lucky okay uh, we students learn at the same time they are preparing the projects and at the end when we present this in a school or in a special venue uh, where we invite parents and we invite uh, authorities, school authorities or the ministry authorities, we, we give them prizes, we give them diplomas, medals, uh, candies, so children, students have fun at the same time they are learning the language. Okay, you can, yes. Well, we have migrated from in-person meetings and workshops because we meet uh, every month and we go to, to workshops and seminars and we go to regional meetings and we migrated to, the next slides, online meetings and online workshops. We have done a lot of things during this year in spite of the fact we have been quarantined, locked. <laughs> we, also, we are going online at the same time. The next slide will show you how we organize these meetings. We, we meet once a month from uh, March to December. And there, all the teachers that belong to the network should uh, be ready to reflect about a specific topic. So we meet, for example, to to prepare a, a successful debate or also to learn more about rubrics or to know more about differentiation, formative and summative assessment. All those topics, we have done it uh, in person. But when we have uh, met online, we have also talked about speaking, inclusion. We have shared pedagogical online tools. We have talked about social emotional learning and we also have prepared some projects. Yeah, in the next slide, I can show you that in the year 2018, maybe one, some of you weren't, went there, I don't, I, don't, I don't know, but we prepared a seminar for teachers of English. We invited all the networks, all the people, and we received funds from the English Open Doors programs to, to do this. And we invited three teachers, three teachers, not real experts from other parts of the world, but teachers like you and me, to give lectures about different and interesting topics. And it was held in Seminario Conciliar uh, and it was really successful. And in the next year, in 2019, 
we um, organized a cultural fair about traditions of English speaking countries. And we prepare in our schools, we prepare our students to present an oral, I mean, to, to prepare an oral presentation. And during the exhibition, our students would be able to show the language skills in front of their peers and the community. And this year, 2020, next slide, please. Uh, we have some innovation projects and the, the, the name of the projects are formative assessment and feedback and also teaching and learning strategy, strategies where Sara Adaros from Colegio Leonardo da Vinci is uh, working on this. I know she's here and maybe if she takes the microphone, maybe she can tell, she can tell us a little bit about, about, more about this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you listen to me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So first of all, I would like to present myself. Uh, my name is Sara Daros. I uh, studied in the university and I graduated in the year 2017. I have been in MastersNet uh, for three years. And uh, this year I decided to participate in the Innovation Projects 2020. Um, at the beginning, we had uh, workshops three workshops uh, which we participated and learned things from Grace Bertolini. That is an excellent teacher. She told us uh, many, many things related to strategies that we can use in online classes. And then um, I would like to show you some of these strategies. Can you see it's there the, yes, the one related with the, um, with the flower, for example? the one related with the flower. This is a flower diagram that was created with the movie, uh, The Beauty and the Beast. Um, here you have WH questions, so you can summary, um, you can make a summary of the movie with a flower diagram. Next uh, slide, please. The next one. There you also have an exit ticket uh, that is very, very useful when you want to have a class, an online class. Then in here, I have some of um, the works that my students have created. I gave them the example in here related with the gorilla. And um, I brought to you today the one related with the cat. So my student created a description of their favorite animal considering a diagram, but it's instead of making a flower as I did, he created the pose, the pose mm -hmm. of, the, of the cat. Then the next one, please. Now, um, I want to show you some things that I did with fifth grade. This is um, an activity where they had to create um, their favorite game. So for example, I created in here my favorite video game that is Mario Bros. But they came up with ideas such as um, Among Us, the one that is next to mine. So um, a student of my uh, fifth grade created this among us. Uh, it is a game that is very popular right now. And she created a description of her, of her favorite game. And the last activity that I want to show you is one that is in, in the bottom of the picture. Um, this is a flip-flop. So you can create um, a flip-flop to um, analyze the story. This is a reading strategy. So you can have the setting, the characters, the conflict, the attempts to solve the solution. And finally, you can have the conclusion. So that is what I wanted to say to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kami. Thank you, Kami. You see, she's very young and she has learned a lot. She's a very motivated teacher and I congratulate her because she's so, so motivated. <laughs> okay, in the next slide, there is other, another initiative that is called Pedagogical Leaders. Um, there we, are, we have two teachers, Ms. Priscilla Bozo, Ms. Loreto Diaz, who have been working with this, um, an, this other initiative that is an online workshop that explores ways of collaborative teacher work and they are asked to design uh, a project based on the strategies presented. Both of them are uh, using the strategy, the video club strategy. I don't know if Priscilla would like to say something 
or not, but she, I don't I don't think so. <laughs> but um, uh, they have been doing a hard work uh, with the teachers. They present videos, short videos of um, teachers. Like, um, for example, uh, I remember last last uh, month's meeting with Francisco Francisco Atencio, who kindly kindly lent uh, a video of his class, and then we reflect on his class, on his performance, and we did some observation, and we reflected on that. Do you remember, Francisco? I don't know if you want to say something. Yes, uh, well, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Francisco Atencio. I have been working as a teacher for five years now, and this is my first year in, in my first year in a in an English network and in an English teachers network. And yes, uh, I I didn't know what they were going to do with with my video with my class, and I was so nervous when uh, when Claudia said today we are going to watch uh, uh, together his video, right? Uh, but it was awesome. It was a great experience. They they didn't say anything wrong about my class. They say nothing but uh, good wishes and congratulations for my class. And I also would like to say and encourage uh, the the future teachers, the future colleagues, to to apply and participate in the English networks. It is a great chance to to get some course. I already did one course from June from June to October which was the, the, the PIAP training program for TP teachers. I teach in a technical professional uh, school and we worked with the British Council side and it was awesome. It, it was a great experience and I encourage you to participate and, and, and you will see the benefits. Yeah, it is, a, it is a great way to learn. And also in, the, in, in these meetings, we have a chance to, to talk which in my five years of teaching, I, I didn't have any chance to do it. So I think this year I have, I have improved my, my speaking a lot. So I want to thank Claudia and, and everyone from my network because it has been a great experience. Yeah, thank you, that's, that's all. Thank you, Francisco. You see, he's also very young and very motivated. I'm so proud they are in our network. Okay, um, I don't know if, if anyone would like to more to, uh, to say something, but as a conclusion, we have remained a successful network through the years because we are always eager to share our knowledge, our strategies and activities with other teachers. We're also looking for new ideas to work with our students. We're always looking for new ideas. We strongly believe that motivated teachers make motivated students, even in this pandemic times. So migrating from in-person classroom to online class classes is not an easy task. We need extra training and we also need our students to understand they can learn through virtual lessons. And all these initiatives that are done this year, 2020, have helped our teachers to be, I mean, more successful in their, in their lessons. So I would like to finish with this uh, to tell you that apart from, yes, Apart from being a coordinator of the Teachers Network, I've been working with PIA for, or English Open Doors program for a long time. I've been monitor of the English and the, the summer and winter camps. I've been a monitor or pedagogical, no pedagogical leader, a, a mentor at Teachers Academy, but I also had a chance to work as a monitor in the English after school program. So I would like you to have a, just a little bit of patience because Jimena will uh, show the second uh, slide that is connected to this after school programs. It's going to be very short, I promise. But um, it's, uh, it's an initiative uh, that started last year. It was uh, in person last year, but this year was to, has to had to be done uh, virtually. And is the the purpose of this uh, this uh, ex the name in Spanish is Talleres Extra Programáticos de Inglés. So we call it after school workshops, and uh, is to provide opportunities for students of fifth and sixth grade to play and practice with the language. And uh, we created, we tried to create an atmosphere in, where, in which they encouraged, they were encouraged to play with the language, to make mistakes in a safe environment. And as you can see in the second, in the second slide, 
uh, they are all these teachers are selected by a strict criteria. We all receive training. We all receive a, a curricular plan, and we are materials designed and prepared by specialists. We just have to implement it. All teachers become monitors and work with groups of 10 to 50 students of fifth and sixth of different schools in the region. Uh, they are six workshops of 45 minutes. Uh, this year, the after school program was held in a virtual environment. And I, in my case, I had to work with three groups, two groups from Canela. Can you imagine the, the connection? And one school here in La Serena. We use Meet Classroom and Google Tools to communicate with our students. And I would like to show you the, the, the schools that worked this year. Yeah, there are schools uh, from uh, rural areas and city areas. And in the next uh, slide, uh, the teachers that worked this year, Fabian Gonzalez, who maybe you know, Andrea Velis, Miguel Angel Dominguez, I'm sure you know him, Camille Jimenez, and me <laughs> and then i will have to uh, i will show you some of the material we used they were wonderful materials uh, done in classroom and in google slides school docs and they were great the students had a lot of fun and i can show you some pictures of this there you are the, the students from different schools, there they are in the last year. Yes, one more. Yeah, they are this is Fabian. <laughs> and one more, one more. They are my students of Canela. <laughs> and that's on, yes. And the last one is the students of the school where I work, College of Trinity. <laughs> okay, so if you have any questions, you can make your questions. That's it. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Miss Claudia. That was a very beautiful presentation. It was so nice to see the students uh, actually participating and getting involved in the classes. It, it's it, uh, uh, speaking personally, it's very uh, motivating for me, at least as a first year student. Uh, now we're going to start our round of questions. But first, we're going to read some comments from the chat. Uh, Miss Marian says, uh, great, great ideas, Miss Camila. And Sofia Rojas says, uh, love your ideas uh, to Miss Camila too. Uh, Miss Sandra Santander says, congrats, Sarah, nice job. Uh, Professor Fernando Castro, pardon, I'm in English, uh, says, totally agree. Uh, Miss Sandra Santander says, congrats, Claudia. So that's, uh, those are some of the comments that we have for this set of presentations. So if any of you have any questions, any comments, please raise your hands. Uh, we're going to give the word to the legendary uh, Miss Maria, so she can speak. Who? Me? Yes, you were raising your... Yes, I raised my hand. First of all, I want to congratulate all. Uh, Claudia, again, uh, Miss Karina, Really, I, I was uh, very surprised, but uh, in a way that made me happy to listen to you and uh, what you are doing with action research. Oh, my dear. In fact, uh, the, uh, maybe you, you won't believe me, but when I was still teaching, I had all these ideas in my mind, but I didn't know how to... Uh, make these ideas uh, come true and be implemented, I didn't know. Fortunately, with the, the networks, right, uh, I can see that you have become so creative, so smart, at, at thinking of so many strategies for teaching and for students learning mainly, and now, especially now during these days when we are all at home because of the uh, pandemics, but I'm so surprised. The same with uh, Sara and uh, Alfredo, uh, to listen to a very young teacher who was so, so dedicated and 
and doing so many things. And I could see that his vocation is quite uh, uh, true, in fact. I mean, uh, uh, a genuine vocation and uh, everybody. In fact, <laughs> I'm so surprised. That I I'm telling you again, because I never thought that during these 20 years, you, you had done so much and you continue doing. The only question, everything is was clear, everything was clearly uh, presented and uh, I agree with everything you say. I agree with all the things they're doing and the things that you want to do and everything that you think that you can help students learn. And of course, not only help students to learn in a classroom and um, outside the classroom too, but mainly you have the idea that students can learn English in a very a playful way, that uh, learning English is not a uh, board, that you teachers uh, can do it in the way you're doing it and students, I'm sure your students are learning a lot and enjoying themselves in your classrooms. And uh, I I'm just wondering how many teachers of the region belong to networks? I don't think, uh, I mean, I wish everyone, every, every teacher of English in this region can be part of um, a network and take advantage of everything that you offer them to continue their professional development, to, to help them deal with the uh, natural difficulties in the classroom and learn about the uh, new strategies uh, for teaching and learning and how collaborative work is so necessary, so useful because ideas coming from different sources, I mean, different minds can help us discover uh, the answer to, a pro uh, to solve a solution in the class. So I'm so happy. I wish I were 40 years younger to be with you, to work with you and have students again and be in the classroom. You can't imagine how much I, I wish I were much, much, much younger. But now I'm enjoying what you are doing and that really makes me happy. So go on and God bless you. In fact, oh dear. Um, you, you can't imagine how happy I am now here in my home, at home, listening to you. Uh, really, uh, uh, this is a miracle to, to listen to you and, and see how much you have grown as human beings and professionally keep on doing all that my dears you 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 have already uh won your place in heaven because i can see love in your work otherwise you wouldn't be doing this to be doing this what you have been telling us uh, you'll be present here reflects the love you have for your students because everything you're doing is for your students. And that is something that no one can deny. That is the most, the noblest, the noblest thing you can do in life. No? Thank you. Thank you very much. much me, to all of you. Maria. Thank you very much for your reflection and for your confession in a way, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so. Was, sorry. Yes. How many teachers of English in our region are participating in the networks? Because the idea is to have every teacher of English, I, I suppose that you, because we want our students to learn and be perhaps a region that can show very good results. I mean, show that our students, when they leave school, they can really understand uh, English when they listen to it, when they read it, and they can communicate in English. Of course, not as a native speaker, of course, but I wish uh, I could hear someday that our students in this region are reaching the highest level of English um, um, English command, right, in the, in the tests when they, they're given tests. Mm -hmm. So, that is what the only idea I have now. If anyone can uh, answer the question, how many teachers? I know, yeah, I, yeah, I know, 201 in the whole region. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, to all the teachers of English. Yes, because this is this is this networks are all only for teachers of English, subsidized and, and public schools, uh, so rural areas and city areas. I if I understand well, you mean that all the teachers of English in this region are part of a network. Yes, two hundred and one. Two hundred and one. There are more. There are more. But 201 are already working or belonging to a network. Yeah, and we invite more people to come here. So just well, we would like them to be, I mean, to be well, more. As you said, uh, everyone said that all this work is voluntarily. Yeah. I mean, is, yeah. I mean, um, yeah. They, and it's very easy to belong to who want to belong to, who want to, to grow a, as a teacher and as a person, to, to, to develop professionally. No one can force anyone to, to yeah, be yeah. part of a network. Mm -hmm. But there are so many uh, interesting, I mean, so valuable things that you are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It would be a pity if they don't um, take advantage of all this. Well, thank you, Claudia. Thank you. It's okay. Everybody. Thank this you be, very much. <laughs> yes, Javier, this wouldn't yeah. be possible without our uh, English regional representative, Maria Cecilia Santander. I know that I know. The, the people who are here who belong to our network can, can say that. that Too bad we didn't have the opportunity to meet together. her. Yes. Too bad. Okay, so continuing with the comments in the chat. Uh, in YouTube, we I, I have... I want to say Solange. something. Uh, okay, a minute, uh, yes. please. Uh, and okay. YouTube, Solange says, says uh, Piap, you are doing a great work. Thanks for all the opportunities you have given us in order to improve our work as teachers of English. And Escuela América de Combarbala is sending greetings to all the teachers. So mm -hmm. say hi to Escuela América that is there watching us. Uh, okay, so now we're going to give the word to Miss Karina Vasquez, um, please. Thank you. Yes, I want to um, share with you something that you do as Universidad de la Serena for the teachers of the region, which is the, pro the program or the course called CAM, uh, in which uh, teachers are um, trained during a period of time in language and methodology, and they are assigned a mentor too. So the mentors go to the classroom and chair with the teachers and support them in their, in their plannings during this process. So um, it's important to consider that the peer program and the, or the English open source program has done a very good job by uh, connecting with different institutions like you, like the British Council, the US Embassy, uh, for example, um, to promote uh, teachers' development. And it's very important, as you already have mentioned, to become part of it, our network at first. And there are going to be lots of opportunities to share with different teachers from all over the, the world. And um, congratulate to, congratulations to Marian, who is the, the core of the, all the things that the university does in the field of professional development. And thank you very much for inviting me to share with you um, a little bit of our story because we are here because of, we have done lots of things we 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 took all the opportunities to to improve ourselves as teachers and now as our as teacher educators. Um, so I hope this is is the starting point for a, a more a, a closer communication with you. And um, well, we are we are we are always close, but. In terms of doing things with the new generations, I love the idea to connect the generations and and share and and build a community because learning communities are the way to improve yourself. You're not going to prove alone. So join a network, keep in touch, 
with all the initiatives that the program has for you and for the students. So that's what I wanted to say. Thank very you. Good. Very good. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Karina. Uh, now we are going to watch the third video uh, made by teacher Fernando oh, Castro. So, sorry to interrupt you, Javier. Yeah. Just, just a minute to, to, to clarify and, and thank uh, Karina for her comments and mentioning the University of La Serena and the programs that we have with Mineduc. Um, our idea was not to talk about ourselves because we are the hosts in this opportunity. <laughs> And that's why we invited you to talk about what you teachers are doing with your programs and, and how PIAP has been supporting you with the programs that you have with uh, the British Council. But as you said, uh, Universidad de la Serena also has um, programs that have helped teachers to grow in, I mean, professionally. And uh, it's not only uh, me, there's a group of people who, are, who work with it. I can mention Jerko, Carlos Tapia, and uh, uh, the other teachers who uh, do not belong to the program and that uh, has also helped us with uh, these um, courses that we have prepared uh, to help teachers. And, and the last one, the, the, the one that you mentioned, uh, which was um, carried out in Ovalle, it was um, a very demanding course because all of us had to travel to Ovalle because the students were there. So we, I mean, the teachers from university, we, we went to Ovalle uh, every Friday and every Saturday for uh, uh, around six months. And, um, and it was a uh, um, teamwork because Karina and uh, Patricia and other uh, teachers uh, that I can see here uh, worked as mentors for those teachers. So we helped them teaching them some new strategies, methodological things and uh, trying to uh, um, help them to improve their English as well. Uh, but then they had to put uh, this into practice and in their classrooms. And uh, they had the, the, the company of uh, mentor. And in that way, Karina and, and Patricia, I can see her with her baby, um, and uh, Sandra and other teachers help us. They also, um, Francisca, Francesca Sunini, they also traveled to Ovalle very early in the morning because the classes started at eight and they had to be there before classes started. And not all the teachers were from Ovalle. So it was a wonderful experience. Uh, um, I'm so sorry to talk about it because it's part of our no thing. I mean, and we are the hosts, and we are not supposed to be the the, the ones who show the things that we are doing. This floor is for you, but thank you for for mentioning it, uh, Karina. Thank you. Thank you. No, Miss. I think oh, that okay. all all um, interactions about experiences are especially good for us, the people who are still studying, and because it helps us create a, a, a core memory before we get in inside the professional lifestyle of being a teacher. So thank you. 